Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, and today is the day. If you read the title of this video, you already know what it is all about. Today, I am going to be talking about all my influencer products, all the eyeshadow palettes, all the lip glosses and lipsticks, everything I know about makeup I've learned from watching makeup tutorials. So for a long, long time I've been watching makeup tutorials and then a lot of the influencers that I've been watching for years, like Manny Emiway, Laura Lee, um, Kim Chi, I mean I watched Kim Chi from RuPaul's Drag Race and then she came out with her own cosmetics line, which she's killing with. I also have a lot of um, collaboration palettes, so from Rob Beauty Christie to Nikki Tutorial, I have a lot of palettes um, in front of me as well. So I just want to kind of give you a rundown of my collection and also talk about each of the palettes and their products as well and give you my quick review on each of them. I'm going to try not to ramble in this video because when I get passionate about brands or products, I tend to ramble. And then I have to edit like three hours of footage down to 20 minutes. So I'm going to try not to ramble too much. But guys, if you could see how many products are in front of me, I have probably... 20 different eyeshadow palettes in front of me. I have lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, I have super soft eyeshadows, highlighters, um, I have a lot of different products. So let's get straight into the video. So the first items I'm going to talk about are these two collaborations with Colourpop and also Pure Cosmetics. If you don't already know, Raw Beauty Christie came out with two collaborations last year, one with Colourpop and one with Raw Beauty Christie. Um, I bought the Pure Cosmetics palette which is this one here. It comes with two sides, so you've got the neutral side, and then you flip it around, and then you've got the um, colorful side. Now, I missed the first launch of this, and it was the palette that broke it into there. I know some people were in the checkout line online for nine hours trying to get this palette, so I missed the first one, but when it got restocked, I got it straight away, and I also got the two lashes that come with this palette. I've used those lashes up. I've used them multiple times, so they've gone. They've, they're long gone, but I have kept the packaging that came with this collection. But this palette was the palette that broke the internet. I don't think that Pure and Royal Beauty Christie realised how many people just love her. Um, people were waiting nine hours, like I said, in line just to get this one palette. So this is what the palette looks like. All the little designs were hand-drawn by um, Royal Beauty Christie, or Christie herself, I should say, because that's her actual name. <laughs> um, yeah, but they were all hand-drawn. I think this packaging is really nice. The um, packaging is cardboard and it's got a matte feel. And I love that it's got both sides. So this is the neutral side. There are eight um, mattes and then the one shimmer in the middle. And then same as the color side, it's got eight mattes and then the one shimmer in the middle, which, I mean, I love a good shimmer, but I also do like the matte. So I think the one shimmer actually works for each side of these palettes, just because I use about five or six mattes usually in one look. And then I usually use one shimmer to complete the look. This is the first time I've ever tried anything from Pure Cosmetics. I haven't bought anything recently from them at all. I was going to buy the Barbie collection. I did watch a few people review that and it wasn't the best review. So I decided not to get that. But this palette I absolutely love and I'm going to keep it. Even though it only has a six month expiry date on it. I don't know why it's such a short expiry date on this palette. Most of my eyeshadow palettes are 12, 18 or 24 months. So the fact that this is only um, six months is a little bit of a letdown, but I'm still going to keep it for as long as possible, just because it's a collector's item, in my opinion. The next item is the um, Raw Beauty Christie X Colourpop um, collection. Now this is the App Pro site, and I actually got this on the very first day it launched. I was so lucky. It sold out within five minutes, but I got the whole collection, and I was, like I said, I was so lucky. Um, this is what the palette looks like so pretty the colors are so 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 pretty um i just love it i love this palette so much i've used this palette so many times but this palette like i said look at the colors just stunning and then the packaging can we talk about the packaging so pretty it's all about mushrooms um christy loves mushrooms and i think the water painting or the water colors it's such a pretty palette I think this is still available on um, Colourpop's website. From memory, this um, palette retails for $20, which is a pretty fair um, price point because there are 12 shades in it. And I know Colourpop's 9-pan eyeshadow palettes have gone up to $14. Um, dollars. So for $20, both parties have to make some money, Christy and Colourpop. So I think that's quite a fair price. And like I said, the packaging, it's stunning. You can't go wrong. Um, the formula, Colourpop's formula is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Their customer service sucks, but their formula does work. 
I also got, like I said, I got the whole collection. Now, the two lip glosses I got, one came broken, the other one I don't really like, so I threw that away because I knew I wouldn't use it. The one that came broken, the little advocate out was actually broken off inside the tube. Colourpop did nothing for me, so I had to throw that away because I couldn't use it. Like, I physically couldn't use it. So I had to throw that away. But I did get um, the gel liners, which are still in my drawer. I love Colourpop's gel liners. Um, I think there are three, a uh, brown, a green, and a gold. So I love them. They're still in my drawer. But I do have the Super Shock eyeshadows that come in this palette. So there are four Super Shock eyeshadows. I'm going to try and hold them both up. There you go. So there are the four here. I don't know if the camera's focusing. You can't really see. Um, but I'll show you. I'll show you one close up, just so you can see the little mushroom on it. How cute is that? Now, normally the um, ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow like packaging is white, but I love that it's green for this collection. I'll swatch you one of the shades, and I'll swatch you this one. This is in the shade Like a Mosk, just because it's my favorite out of the four. Let me get the camera to focus. Focus, 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 focus. Focus. There we go. How pretty is that? Such a pretty shades got a little bit of a shift i love colourpop super shock eyeshadow formula so those two are my christy x collaboration palettes i think the packaging for both of these palettes from pure and colourpop as 10 out of 10 i mean it's it's stunning i really like the packaging this is black but it's like i said i've got um christy's hand-drawn um little pictures all the things that are close to her her tea the mountains where she lives. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that. Um, you've got all her cats, which she loves. The little hands that create a love heart. And then on this side, it's the same um, drawing. So I think that's really nice. And then and then the water paintings with the mushrooms on this is stunning. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for those. All right, guys. So the next item is this one here, which is Kaleidos' collaboration with Angelica Novalisi. No I can't say the name, but this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. Now, I own four other um, palettes from Kaleidos. They are the six pan palette, and I love them. So, when this got announced, I got the email. I'm like, I need to get this. So, I got it on launch day. I ordered it, I, I pre ordered it, and it got sent to me um, on launch day. So, I'm really happy that I got it. And the actual collaborator with this palette watched my video and commented on it and also gave me a shout out on the Instagram stories, which was amazing. I've never had somebody watch my video who actually collaborated with the palette that I'm using. I know Nikki Tutorial did look at my um, X Beauty Bay collaboration look on my stories, but she didn't comment, but she did see it. So um, yeah, the fact that someone actually took the time out to watch my video and comment on it and then give me a shout out on the Instagram, I was so grateful for. Um, but yeah, this palette is stunning. Kaleidos' packaging, it's 10 out of 10. I think Manny Amy Way and Kaleidos always has 10 out of 10 packaging. Um, let me just show you what this palette looks like. Now, this shade here did come broken. Um, I did kind of press it in. When I contacted them, I did send photos as soon as I opened the palette, and I kind of was disappointed. They only gave me a $5 refund for a $45 palette. I just thought, mm, you could have done better. So I do have to be very, very, very careful. Now that shade is Firefly and it is my favorite shade in this palette, but that's still all right. I, I love this palette and I don't think it's available anymore. They did have a restock, but they sold out twice. So I don't know if it's gonna be available anymore. Kaleidos' formulas are stunning. They blend out really, really nicely. Um, I can't say anything more about this palette. It's, it's 10 out of 10. I'm so happy I got it. And again, this is collector's item. I'm going to hold on to this for as long as I can. All right, guys, the next palette is another one from ColourPop. Now, this is the So Jaded Catherine Lights X ColourPop collaboration. Now, Catherine Lights has done a few palettes with ColourPop, but this was ColourPop's first big full-size palette. I think the other ones they've done are like 9-pan eyeshadow palettes or 12-pan eyeshadow palettes. This one is a 15-pan eyeshadow palette. One, two, three, four, five, six six times five no this is a 30 pan eyeshadow palette oh my god that was bad but this is what it looks like it's a stunning stunning palette so pretty it does have one super shock eyeshadow in it which is the shade diamond this one in the corner here not my favorite shade out of super shock eyeshadows um but it's still nice it's good for an inner corner highlighter or the brow bone highlighter now it does come with this glitter shade which i don't really like glitter um 
that shade is not actually meant to be used around the eyes. So I don't know why Colourpop keeps adding these glitter shades in their eyeshadow palettes when they actually say on the packaging, do not use around eyes. So that kind of it makes no sense. But the shade Amethyst, oh my god. Oh, I have to, that shade there, it's, that shade there, so pretty. Let me do a quick swatch. Oh, so pretty. It's a purple shimmer. Okay, that was really chunky. I went really deep with my finger. Um, so it's a bit chunky, but that's what the shade looks like. It's so, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Um, I love this palette. I haven't used it enough. Um, I haven't used it in the last six months, but I need to use it again, and I'm so happy I got it. Now, I didn't get it when it first launched. Um, it got sold out, but I finally got it when it was on sale and restocked, so I'm happy that I finally got it, and I'm going to have this for a long time in my collection because I'm sentimental when I get, like, collected items, even though this is, like, a permanent on Colourpop's website, I just feel like I don't want to let it go in case it sells out and I'll never be able to get it again. All right, the next palette is from Beauty Bay, and this is the Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials palette. Stunning, now this is um, temple themed, so, you know, Nikki Tutorials temple. Um, you've got the dark side and then the light side. Let's open her up. First of all, I like the packaging and I like the theme of this palette. So pretty, so you've got Two mirrors now one side is a normal mirror and the other one is a five times magnification magnification magnificational mirror magnificate magnif you know what i mean um but this is what the shades look like very very pretty i love this palette the beauty based eyeshadow formula is up there with some of my favorites especially their shimmers i'm just going to swatch you one of them which is the shade pride let me just focus the camera that's the pink shade there so pretty oh my god one swipe that's one swipe look how pretty that is um this palette retailed for 40 dollars and i don't know if that was australian or um american because beauty bay does convert to australian dollars for you to make it easier to work out how much you're actually spending which is really helpful now this palette comes with 20 shades and look at the pan sizes they're huge so my finger look how big the pan sizes are they're huge. Let me just show you the Colourpop's pen sizes with my finger. See? See the difference? It's huge. Um, I think Beauty Bay's um, pen sizes are definitely worth the money. You get a lot of product. But yeah, this palette is stunning. And this shade here, Eel, which she hates green, but I think this green is such a beautiful shade. Um, that's my favourite shade in this palette. Out of the mats. And then the shimmers, it has to be the shade Pride because I think that's such a pretty shade. So that's that palette there. All right guys, the next product I have is from Jaclyn Hill. Now I did get the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette number two. I actually threw that away because I wasn't really happy with that palette. Now guys, the reason I actually threw that palette away was because the colors in that palette stained my eyelids like no tomorrow. I've never had a palette that stained so much. It took 48 hours to get rid of those stains around my eyes. My eyes were stained so badly for so long. I was wiping them away. I was so lucky that I did that look when I had three days off work and it was the first day that I did my look. So I had two more days to try and get rid of that staining and it was it was terrible because I can't show up to work with eyeshadow stains around my eyes. I just can't. Um, I'd get in trouble from work. So I didn't use that palette for almost a year and I got rid of it just because I was too scared to use it. So I just got rid of it. I decluttered it from my eyeshadow collection, but I do have Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. So guys, this is what the outside packaging looks like. Just trying to get the lights to focus. Very, very pretty, very nice. The back of it is basically a mirror, which is nice. You can almost use the back as a mirror if you don't have one, but it does come with a full-size mirror inside the palette, and then it does have four shades in it. So these are all the shades, very, very pretty. This is quite new to me. Um, I've only had this probably two or three months. It went on sale for 50% off on Morphe's website. This normally retails for $83 or $84 Australian. So the fact that it went down to like $41, $42, I had to get for myself. I wanted it, but I just didn't want to pay that price. So I'll quickly swatch you one of the shades Glow Up, which is the shade that I would use more for my skin tone. That's what the shade looks like. Um, it's a very nice champagne shade, and that's the shade there. Cameras are focusing. Very, very pretty. Love that shade. I really like the formula. 
um, the other shade let me just show you this one turned on which is this pink one here it's too dark for me way too dark for me um, that's what it looks like it's too dark like I said um, so probably only used one of the shades in this palette and I'm glad I only picked it up for half price just because of that reason but if I do other people's makeup or if I want to use that as an eyeshadow I can would I buy it again no I wouldn't buy it again just because it like I said there is only one shade that kind of suits my skin tone and for $83 I would definitely not buy it even for 41 42 I wouldn't buy it again just because I'm only using one shade but I do like the formula so I think the formula is 10 out of 10 but I wouldn't buy this by itself I would just buy a single highlighter by itself in the future. Alright guys so let's continue now I think this video might be a bit long just because I've really filmed for 30 minutes and I'm not even halfway through this and I'm trying not to ramble as well but I'm just letting you know if it's long I apologize sit down have dinner watch this or watch it over two days or something like that that's what I do with long videos on YouTube I always come back to finish them later on all right so the next palette I've got is from be perfect cosmetics this is the carnival 3 love Tahiti X Stacey Marie palette this is what it looks like I've had this for about six weeks and I have fallen in love with it I have watched people do makeup tutorials with this palette so much and also I have liked so many people's Instagram posts with them using this palette I wanted it so long for my collection it was sold out for so long on Beauty Bay's um, site which is where I bought this from now it did come with two broken shades but the company was really good I took photos I sent it to um, Beauty Bay and they refunded me 40% of this palette which I think is really, really nice. They didn't make me jump through hoops or anything like that. They were really, really nice and they apologized. Um, I really like that. Now, remember the Colitis palette, they only refunded me $5 for one broken shade. This palette cost me $72 Australian. Um, but yeah, such a beautiful palette. Now, the shade, my favorite shade in this palette was the one that came broken. I did try to press it down, but it does crumble and it's very, very soft. It crumbles a lot when I use my finger or even a brush so I have to be super careful with that shade blue moon and then the and then the other shade pearl this one up here now that's not completely crumbled but it is cracked it's cracked all along the side and then the bottom so I have to be careful with that but other than that this palette is 10 out of 10 for me the formula is so good the shades are so vibrant I have used the purples the greens the blues in this palette so I've used probably 70% of this palette in six weeks and absolutely love this palette so much the formula this is the first ever be perfect um, palette that I've ever purchased and I'm I don't regret it at all I actually bought and because I love that palette so much I've recently just added this one to my collection now I only got this two days ago I haven't actually um, played with it this is the carnival X to large pro palette and it's a collaboration with Stacey Marie now this does come with three highlighters so like I said I haven't played with this palette at all but I can't wait it's a beautiful palette and if the formula is the same um, from the first palette with this palette I I'm on a winner I can't wait to play with this palette and the fact that there are three highlighters which I probably only used two because the shade over it this one here is way too dark for me um, but yeah, again, I can't wait to do a first impressions with this palette in an upcoming makeup tutorial. So I can't really rate this one formula wise, but I can rate this one. Um, I don't know if you can see on the mirror, all that broken shade just everywhere in this palette. But I do want to swatch that broken shade just to show you why I love it so much and why that shade is my favorite in this palette. It's such a pretty shade. All right, so it's not the best place to swatch it, but that's the shade there it's so pretty now that shade is blue moon and i absolutely love that shade we also have this shade starla oh so pretty and that's a light purple shade there so pretty let me do a swatch i do it on the side of my hand here i think their formula is 10 out of 10. there it is the lights are better when it's down so pretty i think that shade's stunning so you can tell the shimmers are 10 out of 10 and the mattes they blend out amazingly and the mattes always stay very pigmented even though you've blended them out they are so so pigmented 
Sometimes when you blend out mats, they kind of disappear. These ones don't disappear um, and they're so easy to work with. So 10 out of 10 of this palette, I finally got it. I did pay full price for this one. I think when I did um, buy this, I did like a haul. Every other palette I got was on sale. This one wasn't. It was out of stock for so long. I just, when it came in stock, I had to get it. So I added this one and I also added the other one recently. So I'm excited to play with the other one. I haven't tried. And guys, I have got eyeshadow all over my desk. This palette, a lot of loose eyeshadow. But other than that, this palette is 10 out of 10 for me. Let me just put these to the side and we can continue. All right, guys. So next items we've got are from Kimchi Chic. Now, like I said, Kimchi, I watched from... RuPaul's Drag Race and absolutely loved her artistry. I think she's probably one of the best makeup artists from RuPaul's Drag Race series. Her artistry is amazing and she has been working really hard to create a cosmetics line. She has concealers, highlighters, blushes, bronzers, um, eyeshadow palettes, lip glosses, lipsticks, liquid eyeshadow. She's got everything. I think she also has setting powders. She doesn't have foundation, but I know she has concealers and probably foundation coming soon. But uh, but I know her um, goal is to have enough products to do a full face from concealers, setting powders, everything like that. So she's basically on her way. She also has setting spray. Sorry, I forgot about that. I don't know if she's got lashes. I know she's got beauty blenders. I don't know if she's got brushes. Um, but she does have a mirror. Now, this is my mirror. I love this mirror when I first got it. But the bottom broke. So where the batteries, the bottom actually broke. And I didn't do anything to it. It just broke when I was using it once. I was just holding it and it just, it the plastic bit that clips into this just broke when I was holding it. And um, now the batteries won't stay in for me to light it up. It does light up and you can intensify the light so it's really bright, which is perfect for me when I'm doing makeup tutorials. Um, and I did pay $35 for this. And I don't want to buy another one in case it breaks again because... Even though I love the mirror and I want to get another one that lights up, I want to know that it's not going to break again. So um, that was a little bit of a letdown. So I probably wouldn't recommend a mirror in my opinion, just because if it breaks again, you pay that extra money for it to light up. And now it's just a normal mirror like my other mirrors that are a lot cheaper. Anyway, let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes. I have four eyeshadow palettes. I've got three nine pan eyeshadow palettes. And then I've got her very, very first eyeshadow palette that she ever released. Um, let's talk about the big one first. This is the Kimchi Care Zip palette. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's got the neutral shades and then it's got a pop of color. Now these shimmers, uh, let me just show you the shade Ocean Blue. It's so pretty. Oh, This is what the shade looks like. I'll do a quick swatch. I'm running out of room. I'll do a quick swatch here. It's so, so, so pretty. That's a shade there. It's not the best swatch, but it's so pigmented. So you actually get a blue and a pink um, matte, and then you get the blue and pink shimmer. So you've got the two mattes, the blue and pink, and then you've got the shimmers underneath. This palette is tried and true. Um, I just know if I need one shade out of this palette to complete a look, I can rely on this palette. I love this palette so much. I've had this for over two years now, so it's getting quite old. I don't know what the expiry date on this it's 12 months so i've had this 12 months too long but that's all right still the shimmers are really um nice the mattes work really nice i did test out this formula a couple of weeks ago i didn't film or take photos i was just playing around with um some makeup tricks that i've been testing out um but yeah this palette i really like the black as well onyx it blend out really nicely as well so i love that about this palette now the palette itself I love the artwork, so it's got like a little bit of the story, and it's got like a little comic on the back as well. I love the packaging. It has a matte cardboard feel, so it's not the cleanest. After two years, it's hard to keep it clean. Um, eyeshadows stick to it. I mean, I've got eyeshadows all around the edges here, and also all over the mirror and everything like that. Um, so it's a little hard to keep it clean, so if you've got OCD, just know that about this palette. And then guys, we've got the nine pan eyeshadow palette. So I've got three. I've got the Mango Tango, this one here. We've also got the Juicy, what's this one? Juicy Velvet. And then we've got my favorite out of the three is Virgin Mojito, which is the green 
palette. I did do one of my favorite looks with this palette. It was a 45 minute makeup tutorial. So it was a long makeup tutorial, but that's what this palette looks like. And it's stunning. Green is becoming one of my favorite eyeshadows to work with. So pretty. Now these retail for $14, but I did get these when they were on sale for $7 each. That's why I got all three of these. Let me show you the Mango Tango. So Mango Tango is, this is an all matte palette. So you've got all the bright, vibrant colors. They're all mattes. And then you've got the blue Juicy Velvet palette. And this palette, God, I'm trying to open it, is all shimmers. So this palette is all shimmers and they are all very bright. And then again, this is the Mango Tango. So you basically got the mattes in this palette and then you've got the shimmers in this palette. Um, the Kimchi Chic Virgin Mojito, that has a combination of matte satin and um, shimmers as well. So those are the Kimchi um, palettes done. Absolutely love them. 10 out of 10 formula. All right, guys, the next products I have are from Miss Laura Lee Los Angeles. So I have three eyeshadow palettes and I also have their highlighter palette. Now this is the glazed. I did have the bronze one as well. That palette I didn't use that much because it was too dark for me. So I actually did clutter this one. And this palette here, glazed, actually unfortunately came broken. Um, so two of the pans actually came broken. I did get refunded for this um, pan. It was $19 and I got refunded the full $19. But I love I love the highlighter formula. Now that's quite chunky. I did just get my finger straight into that. But let me quickly just show you this shade, Glow Gal. That's the shade there, so pretty. A nice um, champagne highlighter. Love the fact that the pan sizes are huge for $19 and you get four big pan sizes like that. I think it's well worth the money. Also, it does come with a big mirror. Um, so I love that. Now, the eyeshadow palette, so I do have three. I've got two of the small ones, so I've got Sleigh Bell. And then I've also got the Boss Babe. The Boss Babe is a very neutral palette. That's it there, very pretty. I haven't used this very often. I have used the 9 to 5 as a transition shade quite a few times, so you can tell um, that I've used that. Now, this packaging is the matte cardboard, the black matte cardboard, so it shows up a lot of marks and a lot of dirt, especially inside. It's... The eyeshadows just cling to the type of packaging. So it's hard to keep clean, but that's all right. I still love the packaging. Um, so I've got that one. And then we've got this one here, which is Sleigh Bell. And I think this is Laura Lee's like holiday palette, but it's still permanent on her website. And that's what the palette looks like. So, so pretty. Um, it's got a mirror in it. Very, very pretty. It's got four mattes and two shimmers in this palette. And the Boss Babe one has three shimmers and three mattes. I probably prefer this one over this one. And then guys, we've got the Nudie Patootie original palette. Now there is a Nudie Patootie 2, and that's a smaller palette of this one. Um, but this is the original Nudie Patootie. Such a pretty palette, really pretty. I've used this quite a few times, and Laura Lee has actually um, mentioned me in her stories. When, she, when I posted my look, she posted that in her stories which is really nice. I really appreciate that shout out. But yeah, this palette is really nice. Now this shade there is one of my favorite shades to use as a transition shade. It's so pretty. Um, and then her shimmers are really nice as well. So let me do a quick swatch of one of the shades. I'm going to swatch the shade Jaybird and I'm going to do it on this finger so I can swatch on the back of my hand on the other hand, just because I'm running out. That's what it looks like. It's got a bit of a shift. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a bit of a shift from pink to gold really really pretty love this palette um it's just a really nice neutral eyeshadow palette the mattes blend out really nicely like i can do an eyeshadow look both eyes 10 minutes max you know with a shimmer and mattes i think it's so pretty you've got enough shimmers to use as a brow highlighter you also can put it in the inner corner um, and then you also have some deeper tones to smoke out the lash line with and Laura Lee also does really really good um what do you call those like packages or bargains type of thing I don't know what you call it um and Laura Lee does really good bundles on her website so I think when I got this palette I got this palette plus three other eyeshadow palettes so I actually did have the party animal 
I showed the palette, didn't love it so much, and um, I dropped it and the shades broke. I think I decluttered that. So I had these two plus that other eyeshadow palette. And I also got these two highlighter palettes and three liquid lips, all for $119. So she does really, really good bundle deals on her website. So go check that out. I got three of her liquid lips. Now these came in a bundle as well. Um, so I've got the shade Coral Pop, which is the, this beautiful Coral Pop shade. Um, then I've got this shade Cabana, which is a really nice neutral shade. And then we've also got this Mai Tai shade, which is really pretty as well. So that's a pinkish nude as well. Really pretty. They smell like candy apple, um, which is really nice. And her formula is 10 out of 10. The formula is so nice. It dries down really nice and it's really comfortable as well. So I'm really happy that I have these. I have used the this shade in particular. I think this is my favorite nude shade um, out of all my liquid lipsticks. I've used that countless times. It just feels really nice and it's really easy to apply. I love the doe foot applicator as well. Just, it's all comfortable. I love her brand and I 100% um, support her and I can't wait to buy more products from her in the future. And guys, we have finally reached the last brand I wanna talk about now. This brand, I have the most eyeshadow palettes from, and I also have the most lip glosses and lipsticks from as well. Now guys, if you've watched my channel, you have seen me mention Manny MUA and Luna Beauty so many times. I love Manny MUA, I watch all his videos, and I also love Luna Beauty, which is Manny MUA's brand. Um, his formula of eyeshadows is 10 out of 10. It's probably one of my favorite formulas out there. Um, and I also love his lip glosses. His lip glosses are 10 out of 10, the best formula I've ever tried. Um, I will, I think I've got four lip glosses, but I used to have five. I'm just waiting for them to restock. But I also do have two of his liquid lipsticks as well. I'll quickly talk about those in a second. But let's talk about the palette. So I've got the Morphe X Manny MUA Glam Palette. Now this retails for $30 Australian, $15 American. But I picked this up when it was half price for $15 Australian. And oh, can we talk about the palette? It's so pretty. I love the two highlighters that come with it. They're perfect for my skin tone. And then you've got the neutral everyday um, eyeshadow palette next to it. I love this palette so much. As you can see, I've used it. It has been used and abused. Um, love it so much, so pretty. This palette is just so easy to work with. When Manny did the reveal video on his channel about this palette, I had to get it, but it got sold out. Um, it sells out so quickly. Every time it gets launched, um, it's always like 10 o'clock at their time in the morning, which is like one or two in the morning here, and I work night shift. And it's always released on a Friday, Saturday night, and I'm always working Friday, Saturday night because I work in the casino, which is the busiest days. So um, I always miss out on the launches, and they're sold out within 10 minutes or an hour. So I had to wait until it got restocked, um, and then that got sold out. Finally, I got it, and it was on sale, so I was so happy when I got it. Um, I love this palette so much, and I've used it so many times. Definitely, definitely going to keep this. Now, I think this is still available on Morphe's website as well. All right, guys, so the rest of the palettes, I've got four here, are all from Luna Beauty, which is, like I said, many anyway brand. So the first eyeshadow palette I ever got from this brand was Strawberry Dream. So pretty. Now, I actually bought this um, palette as a bundle with the three, three lip glosses that came with it. Such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, I think packaging, 10 out of 10. I don't know if you can tell, but this moon is raised. It's all textured. So pretty. Um, let me just show you what the palette looks like inside. I have used this palette so many times. This shade here, oh, it's wrong inside. This shade here, Blue Diamond, is my favorite shade in this palette so pretty i don't know if you can see the blue shift in that i will do a swatch of that but it's a really really nice palette and like i said this was my first ever palette from him and when i got this palette i was still learning how to do makeup so my blending wasn't the best or anything like that but this palette made it really easy to learn how to blend just because the mattes blend out so easily and are so easy to work with. So if you're a beginner to makeup, I would highly recommend a palette from Luna Beauty just because his formula is so easy to work with. Um, but yeah, let me quickly swatch the shade Blue Diamond. Like I said, it is my favorite shade. It's very, very softly pressed, so you do have to be very careful when you use it. So yeah, let me quickly show you what this shade is. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, that's the shade there. It's so pretty, I don't know if the lights are gonna pick it up but it's got a blue shift 
I'm trying to show you what it looks like. It's got a duochrome blue shift. Like that's so pretty. That's perfect for an inner corner highlighter or an eyeshadow topper. And I've used it for both the eyeshadow topper. It looks really nice. All right, so the next two palettes I actually got from Luna Beauty's um, mystery boxes he did two years ago. So I actually also did get a strawberry dream, um, an extra strawberry dream, but I put that in the past giveaway just because I didn't need two of them. So I actually got three palettes in the one mystery box. It was the full moon mystery box and it retailed for $330 or something like that. And I only paid like $170. It was amazing. It was one of my favorite ever mystery boxes I've ever got. Value wise, this is the second palette I got from Luna Beauty and it's the Greek Goddess palette. It's so pretty. It is a very neutral palette with a pop of color with the blue here. Um, it's so pretty. And this palette, I haven't used it as much as I've used the um, Morphe palette here, but I have used the mattes to use as transition shades a lot when other palettes weren't working for me. Um, so the shimmers and the mattes work 10 out of 10, just like the Strawberry Dream palette. I highly recommend this palette. If you're looking for an everyday neutral palette and you love this color story, you will not go wrong with this palette at all. It's well worth the money. And again, I think this retails for $45 or something like that. Um, yeah, it's got a full size mirror, which is really nice. 15 shades, $45, well worth the money. And I'm so happy I have this in my collection. Now this palette did come with a highlighter palette. But that was limited edition and it sold out. I never got that, which I was kind of upset about, but that's all right. Um, this palette is so pretty. Now, again, this palette has the matte black cardboard, so it's very hard to keep clean. I don't know if you can tell. I've just got white eyeshadow and all that around it. So it's kind of hard to clean, but again, it's well worth the money. It has 19.2 grams of product in the whole palette. 12 months expired date, cruelty and vegan free as well highly recommend this palette all right guys almost there i know this video is very long so the palette that i've used the most out of all my eyeshadow palettes is this one here which is life's a drag from luna beauty this is his very first eyeshadow palette so pretty now this is such a beautiful palette it's got the neutral side here and then the color side and it's got the two shimmers now there's only two shimmers in this palette this palette did retail for 45 dollars it did come with a double-ended brush, which I actually love that brush. It's really good quality, and I've had that for over two years, and it still works as good as new. Um, he did learn a lot from this very first palette. A lot of people wanted a bigger mirror, so all his other palettes, he's done a full-size mirror. This palette I probably used 50, 60 times. It's the most used eyeshadow palette that I own in my collection, and I'm so happy I've got it. It's very, very weighty. It's got a really good weight to it. Um, this one has a 12 months expiry date on it as well, and it has 21 grams of product as well. And I think retails for $45. All right, guys, so the last palette from Luna Beauty is this one here, and this is my newest eyeshadow palette from this brand. This came out Black Friday sales, um, Christmas. It, it was last year's holiday palette, and this is the Eternal Clips. So this is basically the brother of this palette. So I'd call this the sister and this the brother. I love this palette so much. Look how pretty that is. So, so pretty. You can tell it's the brother of the um, Strawberry Dream palette. It's just stunning. And guys, I have to show you these two shades. Adamantum, which is this silver, and then this deep blue shimmer. And it's called Deep Sea, actually. Those are the two shades there, Adamant Adamantum and Deep Sea. Let me do a quick swatch on the back of my hand. Those are the two shades. Now that silver Adamantum shade, is completely full coverage. And then guys, we've got this blue shade, which is so nice as well. It's got a duochrome, so it shifts from blue to charcoal almost. So pretty, love this palette so much. I'm so happy that I own this palette. And then guys, we've got the two lipsticks that I own. Um, so this is the shade Aphrodite, and I got this in my mystery box from L Luna Beauty. And I also got this shade Dreamsicle in the same mystery box two years ago. So that mystery box was great. I got three eyeshadow palettes. I got two highlighters. I got two of these. I got three lip glosses. I also got his um, big um, makeup bag, travel bag. I also got a hat that said daddy, which I didn't wear. And I also got a jumper that was way too small for me because the size was sold out when I tried to pick it. Um, so that was a size medium. And I actually put that in a past giveaway. So these are the two shades I got out of that mystery box. Aphrodite is 
such a pretty red shade. Let me show you that shade. Oh, so pretty. It's the perfect red liquid lipstick. So that's that shade. And then I'll show you the shade Dreamsicle, which is a pink liquid lipstick. And I'll put that next to it. Money out of the room. Not the best swatches, but but you'll be able to see the colors. So those are the two shades. We've got Aphrodite, such a beautiful red. It's so pretty. And then we've got Dreamsicle, which is a pinky shade as well. So pretty, completely full coverage. Very, very comfortable on the lips. They don't dry down completely, so there is a little bit of transfer. So if you kiss your husband, wife, dog, cat, whatever you kiss, um, it will transfer on them a little bit, but nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Um, but it's still very, very comfortable. It doesn't feel very dry on the lips. Um, so you don't have to put a lip gloss over it. But I always put a lip gloss over things because I love a shiny lip gloss moment. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long video. I apologize. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to do this video for such a long time. And I wanted to give you my thoughts on all the products and give you a quick run through all the products and also do some swatches for you. Um, yeah, I... I'm so happy with all the products except that one Jaclyn Hill product. I think all the eyeshadow palettes I own, I've never been let down. Um, I do like to do my research on most of them. Just watch makeup tutorials before I buy them. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't or if you're new. And also hit the notification bell just so you know when I upload a brand new video. All right, guys, so this video is long enough, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to end it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Oh my love, bye.